So we rejoice in the Lord always. I was talking to a mom um, of my boys' football team. Their season just ended a couple weekends ago. Um, She got diagnosed with breast cancer for the second time just a few weeks back. And we were talking about it, and I just said, hi, you know, how are you doing? What can I be praying for? What's going on? Uh, and, And her response was this. She just said, I don't like this. Don't like this. But if this is God's plan, and this is how God wants to use my life somehow for him and for his glory, I'm okay with that. I will rejoice in the Lord. We don't rejoice in cancer. We don't rejoice in pain. We don't rejoice in sorrow, but just like we don't rejoice in success. We don't rejoice in our health. We don't rejoice in our accomplishments. All of those are misplaced. We rejoice in one thing. We rejoice in the Lord. He's the only constant that does not change. We rejoice in the Lord because he never changes. We rejoice in the Lord because he is good. We rejoice in the Lord because he can actually be trusted. We rejoice in the Lord because his love endures forever. We can rejoice in the Lord because unlike our friends and our family, he never leaves us or forsakes us. We rejoice in the Lord because he's with us in our pain. We rejoice in the Lord because his joy is our strength. We can rejoice in the Lord because he's working all things for our good and for his glory. We can rejoice in the Lord because he is our rock and our salvation. We can rejoice in the Lord because someday we will dwell with him in perfect harmony, perfect unity forever.